All right, so I got it hooked up to 12 volt. <clears throat> Even got the uh, the lot hooked up in there. You can't really see it, but it's, it's hooked up just for the fun of it. <clears throat> but the float is almost resting on the bottom of the tank. This is the last bay. You can see right there, there wouldn't be much fuel left if you had that there. Uh, the fuel gauge is indicating below zero, so it's about right. Now, if I put this all the way to the top, you'll see this fuel gauge start to increase. Now, what I like about it is it's there's a little bit of a lag, so it makes the it, it doesn't have jumpy readings, which is pretty nice. Let me get this all the way up here. We're climbing up there. That's about what twelve gallons. And we go a little bit higher in the tank. Uh, we're starting to see that we're going past that fifteen gallons, and that, that's all the way bottomed. I mean, all the way at the top there. It doesn't quite hit the top of the tank, but I think that's to be expected um we really want it to be accurate when it's on the bottom so and then given the range of this thing i don't think we could probably get it to where it would be at the top but i'm happy with that especially when it reads uh, when it's on the bottom of the tank it reads zero that's the most important part and down here at this bottom range it's probably going to be really accurate as far as the uh as far as how accurate as far as how it's reading because it's 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 you know within a hand's width there of where the pickup tube is and it's directly across from it you can see the pickup tube that's where it is and then it's directly across there's probably not gonna be but maybe a half a gallon in there <laughs> if it's all the way down but what i like about it is it's is that the um the gauge doesn't bounce around like i'll put this up here we'll let that reading top out so if we're in turbulence and the, you know the fuel's bouncing around kind of sloshing around we don't get those readings and we start using fuel it, it kind of I, I guess it's averaging is what it's doing so you can see as it drops lower and we're kind of bouncing this thing around here and it doesn't the needle doesn't bounce which is kind of nice it's going to give you a pretty accurate reading of what the fuel's doing I kind of like that. I just kind of bounce this around, kind of see how it averages out. But yeah, it's a really good system there. Those would be all used. I'm actually going to install these. I've got two sets of these actually. Picked them up from the forums. Um, a brand one, this is a used one. Uh, and there's actually, I have two brand new ones. So I'm going to install those probably in the console down uh, next to where the pilot's leg is and the fuel selector is. So I'm going to have these as kind of a backup system. But, yeah. Pretty simple setup. You got a uh, positive ground and then a sender wire. You just got to make sure that your sender is grounded. And I've got it grounded here just on these Clecos. Just to kind of make sure that they had the uh, arm adjusted out correctly. But happy with that.